Hello my scrappy friends and a big welcome to my channel once again today. So today Sherry's for Cut To You and as you can see I have foiled my design today. This is the gemstone, my goodness I've forgotten the name of it, gemstone circle I think it is, uh, cut file and I have as you can see duplicated and resized that diagonally along my background. Uh, this is another page that I was struggling to pick uh, cut files to use and my youngest picked this cut file for me so yeah I went and I foiled it in gold on some craft cardstock I found the two photos of the same child uh, he they my, both of my kids went through a stage where they were building Lego love hearts and he bought me one and said mum I made you a Lego heart love here you can keep it um, this photo goes back to 2018 or 19 I think and I still have this Lego heart love uh, sitting uh, above where my phone gets mounted to do my videos so that is the story behind these photos as you can see I have got some distress ink and a stencil I'm trying to think of what colour I used. I'll just look at my paper, but I've gone uh, on that same diagonal straight over the top of where my uh, foiling is and added in that colour. That is the festive berries colour. I wanted to, so as you saw in my photos, I've made them black and white except for the uh, heart love, which is red, uh, and he made me a red heart. So yeah, I went with the festive berries. It was a pretty good match. I added, uh, I just used a dry cloth to clean off any of the excess ink from the foiling. And then I used my water spritzer to add some water droplets just to distress the hearts a little bit more. I don't know if you noticed, but when I did clean them off uh, with that dry cloth, I did spread some of the ink around, which is not a huge deal for me. I mean, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I generally do make a mess. So I was like, yep, this feels more like me. Uh, I've come in with some stamping using VersaFine ink in black. Uh, the first stamp I used was a script stamp by Kaisercraft. And the second one is a Viva Las Vegas stamp. And it's uh, a row of numbers. I really like it. I just like the interest that it adds. Uh, and then I distressed all the four edges of that. Now, as I came up with the idea for this page, I decided I was going to go with a colour scheme and I decided on red, gold obviously, craft, uh, and then I thought I need an accent colour as well, so I decided on teal. As I was going through all my bits and pieces, uh, I came across these what are they called? Rub-ons by Chamel. Now they are dated 2014. I did have concerns that they would not work, but I mean, look at how beautifully that went on to that photo. I was so, so impressed. So I do use a few of them on this page. I'm like I said, I'm so impressed that they still worked. Um, yeah. So you can see these photos are almost identical. This one that I'm cutting down right now, he has this really cheeky little look on his face. And I was like, that just sums this boy of mine up. It's just, it's just a perfect little <laughs> cheeky little smile that almost looks like he's up to no good. Uh, so I was like, yep, I'm going to have to include both of these. This is obviously my accent colour. Now I had this idea that I wanted to mount these separately and you can see that's exactly what I'm doing here. I've got that same pattern paper. I just went into my scraps box and pulled out uh, papers that had the right colours. Uh, and I do mount them separately and you'll see in a minute that I changed my mind. But it all works out in the end. It's all good. And my chevrons are actually even going opposite ways here. But like I said, it's all good. This is the center from the piece that I'm using for my background. 
Uh, I go to stick that down and realize that I haven't distressed the edges, so I'm like, ah, uh, just quickly distress those. And then I'm going to stick these onto that red so that they are right up against each other and you can't even see the join line when all is said and done. So it is just fine. I'm going to trim this and then tear the two ends and distress my edges and curl them up and stuff. And here is pretty much where, you know, that ba almost a base layer of my uh, page. I did, when I created my cut file, my background, I made sure that cut file, that big one, is right in the center of the page just by using the centering tool, like the alignment tool in the Silhouette Studio. And then from there, I just kind of eyeballed it and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Okay, so uh, I've got this. I'm using that gemstone circle in the background as like my positioner, I guess thought this would be super fun. I had some white craft foam sitting on my desk. I was like, I wonder. So look, I did it. It rubbed on and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. I've got like my own puffy embellishment thing. This is so cool. I love it. Um, if you can't read it, it does say brilliant. Uh, I did almost forget to actually stick that down, but it, it, it does make it to the final layout. So this is leftovers from another page that I created in my scrapbox again I'm just going to trim it down a bit I want my ends straight and not curved so I'm just trimming that down with my guillotine and I start with it like this and I'm like mm, I don't know and then I decide that I want a bit more and I want the top edge distressed as well so I just tore a piece off and flipped it around perfect this particular paper is Coco Vanilla Studio paper the red wood grain is a doodle bug so then I found these uh, like their airfield shaker stickers they're also Chamel that one is a speech bubble it says you are super if you have followed me for a little while you know that I'm not a big fan of speech bubbles so I am going to cover up the bottom of that and I think it works perfectly there. I'm going to use this uh, teal coloured suitcase just for a pop of that uh, tealy aqua colour. And again, that one goes on beautifully as well. I'm just using my bone folder here. Carefully peel that up. I'm so impressed with how well these went down. So, so impressed. Okay, more distressing. curling up edges so I don't know if you can tell by watching this video I'm starting to get really annoyed because all my layers are moving but I'm like I'm not really sure of my placement yet I can't stick anything down just yet so I'm going to keep playing without my layers stuck down for a little bit longer get a little bit more annoyed come up with my title and uh, if you've watched my previous video about the heart love uh, you'll know what this is about if not I will link it in the description box um, not, in the not in the description box up in the top right hand corner here uh, my boys have called love hearts heart loves for as long as I can remember it's the cutest thing ever uh, I did try out about six different alphas for this title and I ended up going with the black uh, and I have stitched that down so a, a Lego heart love which I just thought was really sweet um, okay I wanted to add a little bit of something here I don't know that I love that it follows the shape of the foil, but I also don't hate it. It's a bit too precise, I think, is what I'm, yeah, it's a bit too exact, which is not really what I do, but that's okay. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think that it works? Do you think that it doesn't? Anyway, so I'm just going to glue that to the back. You can see I've just lined that up, added a little bit of glue, curling up the edges. Making sure that's in the right place. I'm going to stick down one side. You can see I'm just lining that up. 
and then I'm going to go in with a bit more tape and then I am going to go and stitch around the border and I think I go like four times with black thread you can see that there I've done zigzags I really love um, that extra detail and I feel like it really just pulls everything together everything is stuck down and now I've just got the final uh, embellishment touches to go here so I've got these Ellie Studio uh, label stickers I thought I would pull in a bit more black because I've got the black title I've also got black and gold splatters in the background uh, so I thought I would use obviously black ink to do my stamping for the date and also the black label which I'm just going to tuck in up here and I like the balance that gives except my tissue paper is almost completely covering it so I'm just going to fold it up and give it a trim which works fine and then my final touches and I, uh, I do add one more thing when the camera goes off so I'm going to add a trio of these aqua coloured hearts and two word strips uh, again more Ellie Studio so adorable which I thought was cute because he and I mean straight at that face so that face on the left hand side is that that really almost I'm up to no good but look how cute I am face uh, and then the white one at the bottom says hello I love you and I think that's gold foiled as well I have got three of these aqua hearts that one says him and I'm pretty sure I end up this one says life and I'm pretty sure I end up switching the one that says life out you can see I'm really fussing around with where it's going because you know I have to find the exact right placement for it I end up sticking it and then I'm like hmm I found another one that is I think plain yeah so it's just the aqua color and that's going to go in there I'm going to add three gold ones and then off camera I think I add some red ones but I'm not sure I can't remember uh, but you will see in the close-ups yeah so I've just added three in red enamel dots there you go so uh, a fun different way of using cut file I really enjoyed this my photos do not do that foil much justice but hopefully you get the idea of it from the video if you have any questions please make sure you leave them below as always thank you so very much for stopping by and choosing to spend your scrappy time with me i hope you have a fantastic day today and i will see you in my next video